Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Tahir from Family Pediatrics in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about asthma. If you're one of the many parents who have kids who have asthma, this is important information that you'll want to know. I want to encourage you guys to be very proactive with treating your child's asthma well, especially during certain times of the season, such as the beginning of this fall season. I'm recording this in fall uh, time, beginning of fall time. And over the next few weeks and a month, we're going to be dead center into fall. And fall is the prime time for kids to have problems with asthma and allergies. So being proactive is very important. Well, what does that mean? Here's what it means. Proactive means start your child on preventative treatment for asthma. Talk to your doctor about that. For asthma, we want to use some kind of preventative medications for your child to help prevent inflammation of the lungs deep inside the body that can make the asthma constantly act up. So your child may have a lot of coughing if that's not controlled well, or if they catch a little cold, they may get a very severe cold. Now, because their asthma also kicks in when they have a cold. To avoid those problems, you will want to have your child on a preventative medication. There are many kinds of them. So there's a pill, for example, that can be taken once a day. And then there are inhalers that can be used. There are also nebulizer treatments that are used sometimes. The important part to remember of preventive treatment is that this medicine helps prevent asthma problems. So it's hard to use because if your child is doing really well, you think to yourself, well, why do I even need to give my child medications? You have to remember that your child may be doing well because they are on the medication. So preventive medications are super important. If your child gets sick, however, then they may need a rescue inhaler. The rescue inhaler commonly used has medicine called albuterol in it. It comes by different names like Pro Air or Ventolin. Um, but regardless of that name, it's that component albuterol that's helping to relieve the tightness of the lungs. So if your child is having a lot of coughing or breathing difficulty, they'll need a rescue inhaler. Talk to your doctor about writing an asthma plan for your child. An asthma plan is written very similar to a traffic light where there's a green zone for when things are going well and the medication your, your child should be using. Also a yellow zone when your child is feeling sick and the medications they should be using. And a red or a danger zone when your child is feeling really bad and what to do. Have a plan in place. So I encourage all parents with kids who have asthma to be proactive in treating your child's asthma. With the fall season approaching and well on its way, I recommend not waiting until your child um, gets symptoms again. A lot of kids do very well over the summer, so a lot of kids are off of preventive medications during that time. However, let's not wait until a child gets sick in the fall time to start back on preventative treatment, all right? If you have your kids at my office or would like to come to my office for your child's care, I highly encourage you to make an appointment right away uh, for, their, for their asthma so that I can review how your child is doing uh, make up an asthma plan for you guys, and also give your child the right prescriptions. I hope this helps. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you much.